Hi, you guys. Um, this video is going to be a little different. Um, I made several purchases off of eBay. And, um, a couple from the scrapyard. And ju they're just basically, um, it's good. This is going to be a haul video, but it's, um, sort of going to be like a collective haul video but as stuff comes in I'm just going to film it instead of letting it sit on my craft room floor until everything's here instead of just showing you one or two things every video or whatever and sort of as things come in in this week um do like the oh look this came type thing um anyway so I have my box that I started and this is all finishing up my birthday presents like my birthday, my husband gave me, um, a, what do you call it, a Visa gift card with $400 on it and told me have fun. And then he also took me to Hobby Lobby's, Michael's, and, um, Tuesday mornings and TJ Maxx for my birthday. So, I got to spend my $400 on what I wanted. And so, I went to, um, I did a lot of shopping on eBay. And I also, um shop from your scrapbook supply um craft warehouse and scrapbook.com because they had my premium girl stamps finally and then it was so funny the day they came in i ordered them because i had it on the um, email notification and the next day after i ordered them they were sold out because i was going to go order some for my friend it was kind of like uh, just weird like how fast they, they're selling out so this is my little box that I've been putting all my stuff that's coming from eBay in. Um, there's not too much in here right now. But I did order... These came today. And, um, I finished off my ink collection. So all I needed was the, the two limited edition sets. was, um, summer and springtime because I got winter and fall already. Yeah, and then I have all the other ink pads and reinkers. So all I needed was these two sets. So this is my springtime set. And I ordered this summer, but that one hasn't come yet. I've been dying for that peacock feathers distress pad. So thinking about maybe doing an art journal. So I got the shaded lilac peacock feathers and squeeze lemonade. Tim Holtz distress ink. This really was a Tim Holtz birthday because I got so much Tim Holtz stuff this birthday. And then I also got, um, one of them, um, Susan's Gardens Sizzix dye sets. And there's the Susan Tyranny, um, collections and stuff. Like, you get all these little dyes and they make these flowers right here. So. And I got the daisies. These are the mini daisies. I thought they were super pretty. And then I got, um, I finally found one, and that's only $2 on eBay. For my art journal, I got myself a date stamp. And this one goes to... Hmm. 2018, 17, 16, okay. 2020. 1, 22, 23... So it starts at 2013 and goes to 2023. So that's awesome. So I got a little date stamp. Because I've been using like the one that comes with the Smashbook. But I don't want like all that extra stuff on it. I just want the date. Then I ordered a book. And this is the Dina Weekly Art Journal book. And it's like how to, journal, how to journal creatively with color and composition. And I was just looking through this, and I'm like, oh, gee. There's a lot of techniques that I want to try in here. So, really good book, if, especially if you're just learning to art journal. Um, like, I noticed, like, even, I've been art journaling for a while now. And still there's, like, well, with any, like, art form, like, it's, like, endless creative opportunities. But there's so many really good um, ideas, like, and techniques that I haven't tried yet in here, so, and it tells you, but for, like, beginners, I know I'm going on and on about this book, but I can't say enough about it, it's, it's pretty good, but for beginners, because I have a lot of people ask me, like, what do I need to buy, what are good supplies, yada, 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 um, 
it gives you like tools and materials that um, are good starting points like your markers and um, your pencils and then the next page will be your paints and like your medias, your sprays, your inks like everything that would be good to start with and then like texturing tools and and just yeah and then it starts you off with like techniques and stuff like that and teaches you like a good color combination, symmetry, um, composition. It teaches you a lot for beginners. So that's just a book I recommend. And I only spent like 16 bucks on that on eBay. So, And then the last thing I have in my little box here. And I'm so excited. I'm still waiting for it to get here. And I'm hoping it does come. Because like I'm starting to panic. It's been like seven days since my husband bought it for me on ebay and it still hasn't come but i have the um the typewriter ribbon ink so and i got two of those because it comes with one so i figured these would be perfect backup but my typewriter is like it says like i got till the 15th to wait but it was purchased on the first so and it's now the 8th. So I'm like, and I messaged him. I'm like, can you just let me know if it's shipped? I'm so excited about this. And that was three days ago and still nothing. So I'm just hoping it's not one of them, like, cases where, because I tend to have, like, bad luck with, like, ordering stuff off eBay. I don't know if you do too, but, like, I'm really glad, like, they have the eBay buyer protection and stuff because I feel like people have tried to rip me off too many times on eBay. And, or I get stuff that's, like, broken, but, like, like okay, when I, um, ordered my dad this pitcher and basin set, right, and, um, it came broken, but the pieces that were broken off of the box, the stuff was missing, so, like, it didn't break in the box, it break, it broke before it went into the box, so why did you send me this broke piece of crap, you should have refunded me my money if you broke it as you were packing it or something, you know what I mean, and then they want to argue the fact or like the lady with my prima doll stamps trying to tell me she sent them to me and I was lying to her. But I opened that box in front of you guys, so how was I lying about it? But yet, you know, she wanted to argue with me and tell me I was, you know, trying to rip her off. When really she was trying to steal my money. And she knew it, you know? So anyways, <laughs> I'm just really thankful for eBay buyer protection. But I'm, I'm really anxious about this typewriter. I've, I used to have one. But, um... That was really before I started getting into crafting. Like, I've always been crafty, but that was before I really, like, it became an obsession. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I was thinking maybe I might art journal and play with my new stamp pads. Oh, I want to test out this color. Maybe I'll test out this color for you guys. Because this just looks like some yumminess. Okay, so this is the peacock feathers. Do I have a plain? Trying to see if I have like shabby shutters. Well, that's Lydia's paper. Okay, get my mixed media book here. watercolor paper will be good. Maybe I'll do crap stencil too. My new, um, oh, oh my gosh, okay, so, um, I opened this, this is my, um, scrapbook.com order, and I got two of those stencils, and I went back and I looked at my order, and I didn't order the hexagon, I ordered two of those, and none of those, so, um, I have a, a Donna Donna stencil that's going to go in my giveaway. Okay, so, I love these stencils. Okay. And I did, I looked at with, um, I wrote the name down at this stencil. And I know I can't remember what it was called, and I left it in the other room where I was checking it. So. 
so yummy. Look at this color. It's so bright. You know, I noticed I've just been like in a really dark mood lately because a lot of my art journal pages are coming out really like dark instead of like bright and fun like they normally were. I don't know. Like, like I know it's not like depressed dark, but like I don't know. It's almost like looking at it, you know, like when you you know, and you just create, it's coming from the heart instead of like a plan. And they're just coming out dark. Awesome. So that's that since I got, I see. And I've been like egging on here forever, so. And that's the peacock feathers, look how yummy that color is. Okay, so anyways, um, okay update this video when more stuff comes in okay hey guys um today is may 9th and it is gorgeous here in washington state and i really don't want to be inside today but not much to do outside which is kind of you know i don't know i think that's what's happening to my my crafty drivers because the weather is just abnormally gorgeous lately and I just don't want to be inside so I've been outside a lot working in the yard and you know going down to the river with my son and just doing all sorts of stuff everything except crafting and you know honestly I'd rather be crafting today but it's gorgeous and I don't feel any kind of you know inspiration coming to me right now but I did get some happy mail in the mail today so I thought that I would do um, a video on that I move this here so you guys can see better okay I got I opened it all downstairs and just brought it up it's a big thing I ordered these off of the scrapyard on Facebook and I ordered them just a couple days ago and they were like insanely good prices so I had to have them and I don't have very many Christmas stamps so when I seen these Tim Holtz stamps and they're like brand new never been used stamps I was like oh I can't pass these up because Marie one of my my um Facebook um crafty friends was been showing off all her stampers anonymous stamp sets and I'm like hooked now oh and look at my hand it's all inky. I art journaled last night after um, playing around with the peacock feathers. And this stuff stained my hands up like no other. Like, I've scrubbed a few times and still. Oh, since I'm off topic anyway, this is my art journal from the peacock feathers last night. I had fun. It says imagine, inspire, create, and embrace. And then it says words to live by. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It came out really cute. I actually finally got to use that um, Donna Downey Dust Form foam stamp too. So, anyways, back to topic. Um, so, I got this set and it is Reindeer Flight CMS052. Really cute. I love them snowflakes and I love that reindeer. These are going to make some really cute Christmas cards. And this, I have the die for this. So I was really excited when I seen this because I really love that lantern, that street post lantern. And it doesn't technically have to be Christmas at all. And then like this music notes. Cute background. And then it says Christmas Carol. And this is Festive Sound CMS 048. And then I ordered this one, was the last one I got from her. And this was School Desk CMS057. And I loved this. I thought that would be a super cute journal spot. And then, like, really cute texture and and stuff, like, month of. And then um, recorded records and recorded, records and recorded, day of, day of, day of. So I thought that would be cute. So I ordered those three from um, a gal on the scrapyard. 
And they came in extremely fast. And then I ordered, um, the rest of this is eBay orders. Um, I ordered off eBay. Um, I found a bulk lot of Sporo tape and the one forest. And I love this size. It's one of my favorite sizes to use. And um, I got five of those for like $20. So I ordered those because I love Sporo tape. It's one of my favorite um, tapes to use. And then I ordered from my art journal um, five yards of um, cheesecloth. So I was really excited when this came to play with this and give texture to my canvases and stuff like that. So I got five yards of cheesecloth and I was like, this is not five yards. And then I opened it and it's so thin that it, yeah, it is five yards. This little bitty piece of fabric here. And then I ordered um, a bulk lot of... Can you throw that in the recycle bag? Um, this is ATG tape, and it is 10 rolls, and let's see, I spent $26 on 10 rolls of ATG photo tape, so, and it's 36 yards, and I got it from Tape Jungle, um, on eBay, oh, they even sent, like, a little calendar card, but that's where I bought this from, and I spent $26.99, and it was free shipping and handling, and I got 10 rolls of... Tape. So that's where I normally buy my ATG tape just because, um, if you, like, you get two for, like, eight dollars at Michael's, and I think that is expensive, and I go through my ATG like there's no other, so I ordered that, and then this is the last package I got, and I actually got several packages, but, um, like I said, I just shoved everything in the packages. Let me see, make sure I got. I ordered these um, hot blades. Um, they're like exacto blades, but you put it on your um, like wood burning tool. And I got this so I could start cutting out all my stamps. So maybe I'll do a video on that today. Because I want to do something in here. And then I finally completed my Tim Holtz stamp collection. I have every single one of Tim Holtz's stamps now. I'm so excited about that. I just need to get the re-inkers for the um, four limited edition seasonal ones. And I have all the re-inkers also. So I'm excited. So now I got my summer and my spring. And my collection is complete. So I got those. And then I also ordered, I've been on an ink kick lately, I think, um, because I got like all the Prima inks and then I got all the Tim Holtz inks and I'm working on my Stamping Up ink collection. And now I'm working on, this is this last order. And I ordered it from Elizabeth. Zero, zero, zero items for sale um, on eBay. And um, I ordered some Stazons inks. And I ordered five of them. And um, really my shipping handling, because I ordered them separately, came to like $17. And she reimbursed me and packaged all my inks together. And just like took five out of the 17 to ship this. And then gave me my money back. It was like, whoa. So I got the Royal Purple. I love that purple. And then I got the mustard yellow. Because I need some permanent inks for my art journal. And I got teal blue. Oh, I love that blue. And then I got the cactus green. And I got the blazing red. So those are the stays on that I bought this month. And I want to get some more like, um, archival inks and some more of those just because I like the permanent part of it. Then she sent me this free gift and it's a cute little stamp set. It says get well soon and then a little butterfly and then like this little lace border. Can you see that? So that was my free gift and then she sent me a Jolie sticker and it's a golf cart. <laughs> So, that's everything I got in the mail today, and so as soon as the rest of the stuff arrives, I will complete the video and put it on my YouTube. Okay, I'll see you at the end of it. Toodles.
Okay, you guys. So, um, this is added on, um, to the haul that I've been working on. It's been slowly but surely coming in the mail. And so, um, I got a few more pieces to share with you. And then I wanted to share with you a project I just completed. Like, literally just completed all my sewing stuff. It's still out and everything. Um, I worked on my Mother's Day present for my mother-in-law today. And I was hoping to have my mom's present started by now. But, um, this took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna. Especially since, um... I kept taking breaks and everything. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you. Uh, I made this pillow for my mother-in-law. Um, it's got like a little flower plume um, out of lace here. And I trimmed it all in coordinating lace. And it says a poem. Um, and then I have butterflies on it. And this is just an iron-on um, applique thingy. Um, it's this stuff right here. Um, you can pick this up at Michael's. So, um, I really like using this. I've done t-shirts for babies and stuff with this. Really cute ones. But anyways, back to the haul. Then I showed you my finished project. Um, I got a few things in the mail today. Um, the first I got was this. And, um, it's a self-adhesive wall repair tape. But I got it, um, from my art journal. So, uh, this came in the mail today. I ordered it off eBay. Because, um, I am by no means close to a hardware store. So, probably could have got it cheaper there. But I just wanted to get the small roll. See if I like this stuff or not. I'm pretty sure I will, though. Because it looks like it will give some, an amazing amount of texture. So, anyways, I want to play with that as soon as possible. Um, another thing I got was my order from, um, Mold Muse. Let me see if I can get that. In the... And right here is their shop URL. So. So, anyways, um, they sent this cute little, um, like, organza bag full of my goodies that I ordered. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see what I ordered from them because, um, well, they're molds, so. Um, I ordered this really pretty ornate, um, like medallion piece. I want to play with these pretty soon. Maybe that's what I'll do next. And then I ordered this um, skull and pistol cameo. But I thought that would be super cute for Halloween. And then I ordered um, like this mini cameo. But it's like the Lolita or whatever. Like the Day of the Dead cameos. So I thought that would be cute for Halloween. And then this is a like rose bun or uh, rose stem. So to that, and then a clock with clock parts, like the clock hand. And then I ordered this really pretty cameo. Um, I'm hoping this isn't the one I got, but if it is, maybe I'll put it in a wrap. And then I ordered this, um, like, keyhole. thought that was super cute. And then this one is, like, a 3D flower, um embellishment. I want to play with this one because I'm really curious how detailed it is. But normally their molds are super detailed. So you can use resin, clay, UD, um, all that kind of stuff in these molds. So that was my Mold Muse order. And then the rest is eBay. And um, I got some of my Tim Holtz stamps in today. I was really excited. Um, Let's see. I got Fairy Tale Frenzy um, CMS058, and I I wanted it because of this, and then like this flourish right here, and then I like the crown. And I love everything about this stamp actually. Those letters. Let's see. Knowing. Oh, I love that. It says no one can go back and make a brand new start. Anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. I love that quote. Art journal. Um, this one is 
slight alterations and it's just texture stamps. But like this one right here caught my eye and I was like that would be perfect for my art journal. And this one here, like this mesh. So I like that one. Um, this one I could not not get. It's um, Time Travelers. But that gear, like I wish you could see the whole gear. And you can see better from the back. That gear's awesome. And then like those suitcases and then like the like the old timey like my husband says this guy reminds him like the bad guys from like the old movies and then I got this one is Papillon oh I didn't read you the okay well this is Time Traveler this one is Slight Alterations this one is Papillon CMS 106 and it's just the butterflies and I think I have this stamp by itself that I've bought and if I do it's going to go in a rack so I'm going to give away because on eBay sometimes you can buy just the single stamps you know instead of the whole thing so I love this one and then this one I've been wanting forever and this one is stuff to say and it's just a bunch of quotes I love this one so I got I think one more stamp set coming this month and that is this is Marie's fault. She got me hooked on a Tim Holtz stamp. <laughs> like, I have, um, a bunch of, like, these ones. Let me get my stamp. But here's one of these stamp bins. My new one, actually. Because the other ones are full. Um, like, I have a bunch of these ones. But I don't have, like, this is all I have. And some of, like, three of these I got in the mail yesterday. So this is the only one I had and these big ones. And so now I have a nice little collection started. I'm so excited about that. So funny how the simple things excite me, huh? So now I got my new little basket and I'm getting this one slowly, surely filled up too. Stamp addicts, right? So, um, anyways, I will see you when the rest of the stuff comes in. Toodles.